doing? This finna move this car with me in here because um, where I'm going with the car. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 9:30 a.m. I'm up very early. I wanted to start my day off by going on a little walk or going to do the laundry that did not happen i'm having a massive headache plus i have this appointment at 12 o'clock so since none of that happened and it's already 9 30 i'm not gonna go on a walk right now i'm going to just um i have to leave here by 11 to get to my appointment on time so i'm thinking that i'm gonna don't leave the pump on absolutely dead All right, I'm thinking that I'm going to run all of my errands, then come home and go on a little walk, same time. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm wearing like leggings and uh, I'm gonna wear some workout leggings today. So I'm gonna wear some workout leggings and like my sneakers and stuff because the appointment that I have today is not, it's serious, but it's, I didn't call you. This girl is answering in my ears. I didn't quite get you. I didn't call you. I didn't summon you. What do you want? The appointment that I have is serious. However, it's not that serious or I need to dress a certain way. I just need to be there. So we're going to do that. And um, probably walk back to the house. Yeah, I could do that. Walk back to the house, change my top, put my, my bag down, finish up the little walk. Or I could go to the laundromat, drop the clothes off, start the washing, and oh, I need to stop by over there first to see if the laundromat is operational because these days it just hasn't been. So I'm gonna like make some breakfast really quickly and kind of let the day do a domino effect from there on out. But I obviously have figured out some form of structure for the day. I just realized that the last three days I have not taken my vitamins, or maybe I took them yesterday. I can't remember. I need to do that. So yeah i have a little headache that might be as a result of me pmsing or me just a little overwhelmed if we're being completely honest but um i don't know yet because i've been having it for the last two days because i'm bleeding like i was shot so there's that but yeah i'm gonna eat some breakfast did i i filled the um kettle up but i didn't turn it on so I think I'm going to make like some eggs or something like that and yeah, also need to text my manager with my availability for the following week so he can start working the schedule from early because God knows these people really struggle working the schedule. Anyways, going to figure that out and I'll see you guys later. Guys, I also just realized that my headache may be caused by me not having coffee for like the last three days. So like that might very well just be a caffeine withdrawal right there which love that for me not really but whatever like what am i gonna do oh i just remembered something that i said i was gonna do but um to make this breakfast and some coffee because honestly i don't know how i survived the last three days without it but like i'm not trying to i don't want that to be continuous i'm trying to see if there's an extra container of this coffee inside here because it's not I'm gonna have to get that by someone. Amazon? I need to buy some raisins too because when I make my chicken salad, I like to put raisin in there. And I realized yesterday that I just have a small amount of raisins left in the bag. I also need to buy back these sparkling ice. Actually, no, this right here because I absolutely love it. And it is literally zero sugar and like five calories so it's like pretty good so love that somebody somewhere who knows more about like diets and nutrition and stuff like that is probably looking at me like girl you really believe that that thing is zero sugar just if it said that that's what it said don't argue with me <laughs> now we're here i'm gonna put some fruits alongside this little breakfast but i actually need to start making the breakfast first i literally haven't really done much why this cut all that stays out? Oh god! But oh yeah. What did I come in the fridge for? Fruits, strawberries. 
because I'm not about to let these fruits waste. I hope. And a banana and some grapes. So yeah. Another apartment successfully down. Very happy because before I was very, very upset. But now I'm in a better mood, in high spirits, and just overall happy. So I'm gonna wash my hands, hop down the block to take the bus and to go home. So I look like a little toenail right now. You know, we look at the little toenailish, but I'm out running errands that are not mine because I was in a bad mood. And so um, I'm on like a little drive, a long little drive, which is nice. Oh, Spanish. Mm. So I'm just sitting outside in the car waiting because I'm wearing my Crocs and I look a little crazy and I just did not feel like going in a space where other people are or that will require me having to be a social butterfly because that is not the mood that I'm in. Yesterday I mentioned in my vlog that I got some not so favorable news. That has absolutely changed, especially from the clip that you guys saw earlier. So, like I'm in a better mood and everything. I think I'm a little hungry too. We have mango in here. I ate most of it, but like, I feel like when you're hungry, like spicy stuff does just does not work well with your stomach. It's like I'm here waiting. Just waiting. Although it's nice and cool inside here, we're parked beside a hydron, and I hope the ticket people do not come because if they do, they just gonna move this car with me in here because where well, I'm going with the car. And you see, if it was on one of those like back streets or whatever, I'd be able to comfortably move it because I can move the car. But I'd be able to comfortably move it on a back street because like there wouldn't be too much going on on like the back street. But out here on the main, girl, I am too nervous. And I feel like had it been a case where like I absolutely have to, like if my life depended on it, I would have been fine or whatever. But like I know that my life don't depend on it right now. I'm going to just call you to come out here and move this car because I can't. I remember one time we had an my friend had an appointment in the city and she brought me with her. And she's just like, bro. If the ticket people come around to like move the car or whatever just move it you know just go around and come back and i'm like bro i'm not gonna lie if these people come they're gonna take me and the car away because i can't do this i'm not cut out for this much pressure but like i really need to get better i don't want this year to end and i don't have my license so like we're gonna work on that we're gonna make that a goal for this year and i feel like the only reason why i'm not like pressured or whatever is because like my both my jobs are like so close by i could literally take one bus to, to get there so like owning a car is not like high on my list of priority but i guess it's still good to like have the license to just to have it and like drive people's cars when i'm ready until i get to a point where i feel like i want to actually buy a car but like right now it's not a necessity so like i'm just chilling but i actually want to get it done this this year for the year ends my hair looks a little crazy so like in a few months we're gonna check back in and i'm gonna have my license so yeah but i'm just here i should be doing my laundry one of these days that has not happened yet today the laundry might close at five o'clock and we're not gonna get back by five o'clock so maybe i'll just wake up early tomorrow and like go do that because that thing is full it's heavy because if i don't do that even though i told my manager that like i'm available tomorrow so if he wants me for tomorrow then i'd come and i hate when he reads your message and does not answer just say yes or no or like i'll let you know tomorrow if anything but he doesn't say anything and he will still be the same one who will call you the day off on some yeah are, you said you were available bro i said that days ago you don't think you could have just told me yeah i might need you to make yourself available or whatever so i don't make any plans but whatever we're here later 